let's let's talk let's talk friend oh I have been off my last upload on this channel was around late May um, and I said this on patreon that was the last time I was on patreon the closest word I can think of is depressed but it that's not it damn it because I've been depressed and this is so different it almost feels in my body it almost feels like protest I am unable to pretend that everything is fine everything is not fine and that's what it is i can't us telling another friend that i'm non-functional like i can't do anything i go grocery shopping i make dinner i do my laundry sometimes. Harper did come over and we made slime. But other than that, I just, I just don't have it. The main feeling is I don't know how, how we, I don't know how we're supposed to keep doing this. Like I don't get it. It feels like I'm missing something. And because I, can work from home and I don't have to clock in and nobody there's nobody checking for me because I don't have any of those responsibilities or restrictions I am able to just I can stop but stopping doesn't feel good I hate this sorry yeah totally i've been talking to my friends and like doing these little experiments like little surveys and like checking in and like seeing how they feel and no one quite no one's quite feeling the way i'm feeling so i start things i stop them because i feel like i stand there and i'm like to what end? What is all of this for? In the grand scheme of things, what for? And so I'm like, okay, maybe I feel disconnected. Maybe I feel like, I feel like I should be doing something for someone. I don't know. And that coupled with decision making, you know, do I, about the future, do I stay here? Do I move somewhere? Do I move according to personal safety? as a person in this body do i move according to climate change or i won't spontaneously burst into flames um and where i will not run out of water <laughs> work work job opportunities uh do i try to buy something what is buying things like i can't believe i have to buy this <laughs> it makes it difficult to get up in the morning. Um, it makes it difficult to be excited about things because I will feel excited and then I'll be like, ah, for what? I don't know if this is making any sense. It's like a cosmic punked. Like I feel like I'm, we're getting punked on a cosmic level and I am unable to ignore it. Also, I don't consume substances, um, so I'm just experiencing reality at all times. And what it does is it makes you unreliable. I cannot correspond in a timely fashion. I cannot finish things on time. I had to cancel, not cancel, I had to postpone all my personal projects, including Evelyn and Friends, and like, I messaged everybody that I had been working with on that to be like, hey, give me six weeks to really figure things out because I, I don't have any creative energy. Coming up with something from nothing, it's not possible. All the things that you used to pride yourself in, being on time, 
being resourceful, being creative, all that stuff is gone. And I, I finally came to the realization and acknowledgement that avoiding this prolongs it. So you just have to feel what you feel for as long as you feel it. So that's what I'm doing. And maybe the vlogging will help. I had to clear some space in the memory card. Um, yeah, you know, I looked at my hard drive and I have at least two vlogs before this one. But I think I'm gonna post this one first if I ever get around to editing it. Just to say hi, just to say what's up, because especially that May vlog, oh my gosh, I was faking it. And by faking it, I don't mean um, being d disingenuine, ingenuine, ungenuine, not being inauthentic, but I was masking, I was trying i was striving i was faking it i was like i need to try something i need to do something maybe if i do this maybe if i do that that's what i mean by fake it makes it tough for someone whose job is to entertain um and to be uh, funny and silly and you know but the thing is that i also know that internet cousins that i know that y'all be we be, tsium, this is us, tsium. We be on the same wavelength. Yeah, if you can relate, let me know. If you can't relate, let me know. That's very interesting. So, what I have been doing is taking a little bit of a mental health leave. I'm doing like the bare minimum of work. There are jobs that are a lot less involved emotionally and like creatively that st still pa still pay the bills <laughs> okay still pay the bills so taking my vitamins and i'm doing 30 minutes of just walking every day trying to get my stretches in drinking water and leaving my phone here in the living room when i go to bed that's all i can promise myself that is like the absolute maximum Everything else is just vibes. Have I been lumbling? If I have been lumbling, there's a lot more, but that's the gist. Rather, there's a lot more circumstantial things like unique to me or unique to, you know, my people. Um, not, my, not my people, but my people, well, not my people, but you know, my people people okay my people this is more of a general malaise that you could probably relate to regardless of where you are in your life or what's happening in your life one time but one time i'm gonna just say i'm gonna just say it shout out to everyone with children because wow <laughs> i don't know i don't know <laughs> Huh, I don't know if I could be in charge of bedtime. I don't know how you're doing it. That's it for this vlog. I'ma go. I'm gonna go probably put lotion on my hands. I should shower is really what I should do. In the comments below, tell me things. Shouty, you know the deal, you know the drill. You're not new to this. We've been around the block many, many a time. Many time before. That's me. My name is Evelyn. I have no interest in anything. And I just have to be okay with that for now. But I hope I will see you on the internet somewhere. Bye.